The left-wing rioting and mayhem are the direct result of decades of left-wing indoctrination in our schools. The left has warped, distorted, and defiled the American story with deceptions, falsehoods, and lies. The president marked Constitution Day with those remarks, just for starters, at the National Archives in Washington today. Still with us are Steve Schmidt and A.B. Stoddard. Steve, that room and the documents it houses beneath that thick glass, you almost can't believe, looking at the parchment, that you're actually allowed to see the formational documents of our country. I first walked in there on a trip to Washington with my parents in 1974, and I'll never forget it. So it's against that backdrop that we heard, as Susan Rice put it, one of the darkest speeches, if not the darkest, of his presidency. Well, we heard the undemocratic rantings and musings of our dime store slurring Mussolini there behind the presidential seal. The event was a travesty and that it took place in the presence of those documents is a desecration to the ideas and ideals of the country. The speech was jarring. It was illib illiberal, meaning undemocratic in its essence. And Nobody should undersell, underappreciate the radicalness, the extremeness of Trump's statements about if I lose the election, therefore the election is illegitimate, it will have been stolen. We, we've never had a president unwilling to lose, to accept the sovereign judgment of the people in a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Our democracy is sustained by, renewed by, predicated upon free and fair elections. That an American president would do what he's doing, that he would send a signal to the country that evaporates their faith and belief in the legitimacy of the American form of government from that room isn't just despicable, it's profoundly dangerous for the continuation of the American experiment, which began in 1776, testing the proposition whether people could self-govern, whether the people could govern. And so we have a president now who, when he looks at the country and sees that he's behind, sees that he's being rejected and he's repudiated. He is undermining the integrity and most importantly, the faith of the people in the integrity of that system, which has been one of the longest and deepest wishes of so many of this nation's enemies and adversaries. The one thing they could never ever do was to shake belief in the American system in the eyes of the American people, but Trump has managed to do it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.